The time for talk is over with. Let's get it on. All right. Here we go. Miami start with the opening possession. Travis, they want to get for debt some easier looks. Look at the new Kenyon Berry, nuclear engineer. Oh, then defense and offense. He does it all. He's got it all like Walmart. Great start in possession for Canyon Berry. He will check out. The madman will check in. Meantime, Antonio Rallot, I'll call him Lotto. He'll start the possession with Ocasio and Quasco. Out to Rallot. They're going to put their top perimeter defender on Rallot. Ocasio saw that one go halfway down and came out, but these girls ain't loyal. No, they ain't. Madman lost the handle. Madman, what is happening? He turns it over. Kwasku to Ralat. Ralat gets a look. Count that. Blau from the right wing. You cannot give that dude a look. I told you. The man is good for six a game this year. Not shooting the two ball great, I must admit. 23% from long range is Ralat on the season. Uh, but still, you don't want to leave him, leave him open. San Juan finished 10th in Chengdu. Just a fourth appearance this year as El Toro says ole. Right past the madman, up and in for the score. San Juan lead it 3-2. Jimmer put on the brakes, trying to break him off some. He will miss fire. Keeps it alive, though. Maddox thought about the two instead. Get it to the shooter. He fires a blank that time. Ocasio, nice hustle. He clears it. They'll get to the center of the court. Rallot, kind of a wild pass. Andre Allende has that one deflected. Madman all by himself. He's got a two queued up. Now Maddox, dribble drive working on Rallot. And a foul call on the floor. Don't forget this, that San Juan finished second in Edmonton this year. This is a team that's proven their ability to get to the final. And I don't think that Miami's going to underestimate them at all. Tough bucket underneath, the real deal. Okuasco, nice Euro step, doesn't finish the deal though. So he sells the clip in a 3-3 contest. Joe Travis, oh yeah. Takes a big bump from Allende. So Travis will get in the tenth at the line. Shout out Vince Chang. 3x3, the energy. That's right. The voice is back. There's cash from the line from Dylan Travis. Rallot. Gets the step past Maddox. Maddox is caught reaching in. Miami picks up their first foul. Oh, Ralat gets past for debt, gets it back. He missed them both. Those are the buckets to San Juan. They got to have. It's a 10 minute sprint to 21 every possession. So important for debt. Has not been stroken so far in this tournament. Wasco is most certainly going to take it out of him, but for debt, he got, he got some quick hands. He will rob you blind for debt. Oh, he sets up the dish, but Wasco didn't like the taste of that. Smacked it out of his face. Allende cannot. Track it down before it goes out of bounds. So we will head into our first TV timeout in this Pool C contest. Miami again, I mentioned earlier, they're the top scoring team in the league at 20.6 points per game. We saw them manage only 16 points in their opening win against Pirot. And four points through the first three minutes of this one. Not quite on pace to reach their season average. They're running into some gritty defensive teams and also teams that have done a good job in running for dead off the two-point arc. Usually that dude is shooting the nets off, but they're making things difficult on them. 
And that stifled the Miami. that you're watching right now is the last chance for players to earn ranking points for their respective countries. The top three, the top three in the rankings, the federation rankings, their countries qualify directly to the Olympics. They don't have to even compete in a qualifying tournament. They are in. Jimmy Fredette, cross, step back, created some space in the relationship. He was feeling smothered. 6-3 game. Pushes Barry his the deck. He's helped to his feet. That's the real deal. We'll start to orchestrate the offense. For debt off balance. He gets the shot to go. Allende apparently ran under for debt on the shot attempt. And uh, you can't do that. Got to protect the shooters. And that will put Fredette on the line to shoot two. Jimmer, who spent eight seasons in the NBA. He's been uh, spectacular, to say the least, in his first full season. Led the USA to a silver medal at the World Cup this year. He's an AmeriCup champion. And a World Tour Masters winner. Not to mention a Pan American Games gold medal winner as well. The accolades continue to add up. San Juan need to continue to add to that score. Look at Barry on the strong drive. He does not get the lay to go. Good defense. Cadet sends that back. Wallach sticks with it. Persistence will not pay off. Wallach runs into Dylan Travis. And I can't say this enough. These are impact plays that Dylan Travis is making for Team Miami. It's sexy to score the points, of course, but it's the, it's the hustle plays, it's the effort rebounds, it's the taking the charges that make huge differences in the game. And oftentimes they go unnoticed to the novice fan. But if you've ever hooped before, you played on a team and you love the, the, love the players that, that can give you those effort plays, 
and end up making a difference for you. Eight to four. Oh, Jimmer with a beautiful move. Did not have the right flavor of scoop. Shout out to Bulk Don. He can't even hear me right now. But Bulk Don just gave me a coffee. My Brody. I needed it apparently. Am I, am I sounding sluggish? He never brings me a coffee unless he thinks I'm sounding slow. Now I'm taking offense to this coffee. Speaking of offense. There's an offensive foul on Team Miami. They will turn it back over to San Juan. Make no mistake, this game is, is well in reach for San Juan. It's a three-point game. Loose ball. Somebody's going to come out of the scrum with it. Jump ball. That's as good. That's as good as a steal. Now, Miami's argument is, now look. Look at the play from Dylan Travis. He didn't watch Doherty explore, apparently. Swiper, no swiping. He swipes the ball loose. Miami is able to tie it up and force a jump ball, which, well, usually a change of possession would have, would have been Miami ball, but I'm not the expert here. Our officials uh, decide differently. So maybe Miami got the steal cleanly and then San Juan tied him up. The madman let you so close. He got the drip from long range, that is. Up top, Ocasio. He will receive the package and deliver. It's 10-6 now. Here's Jimmer. It's your world, Jimmer. One ain't enough, he need two. It's 12-6. Rallot, he wants it back. Rallot from way out there. He will find Ocasio on the cut. Ocasio, no. He will get it back. It's a no again. Good interior defense from the Madman. And Miami with more breathing room in this one. So a dozen to a half dozen. Lotto still looking to cash in. Miami take over after the miss here. Barry, no hesitation, took a big bump there. Rallot was out of position. That is the seventh foul on San Juan. Two free throws coming up for Canyon Barry. First time this tournament we'll get to see the Barry free throw. Routine. Take a close look. Whee! See him? Just flip it up there with two hands. That's how his dad did it. His dad, Rick Barry, is one of the best to ever touch an NBA basketball. And he connects again. Canyon 78% at the free throw line this year. So apparently it works. Quasco going to work underneath. He gets the board and the score with a 14 7 deficit. It's not going to be easy for San Juan to come back from. Jimmer getting to it, but wait a second. He had, yeah, he got called for the travel. Apparently drugged that pivot foot. One move too many. Just over four minutes left. Adriano Casio. Huasco. Luku. Luku. To the hoop. He will go up and in off the Windex. Three possession game, the real deal. Sneaky pass to the Madman. Madman too much protein on the shot. He's trying to set up Jimmer for a look. Jimmer, Jimmer, up fake, Jimmer. Not that time, good rebound there from Allende. He tracks it down, Allende will go baseline. Allende will go to the cup. He'll get the bucket. 3.30. Left in his pool C contest. Jimmer. He will get it back. That's easy breezy. Ocasio thought about the two. Wait a minute. Let's see what the call is. 
I'm not I'm not certain because my view was obstructed. I don't want to guess, but I'm, I'm I am going to guess. Okay, take time out, but maybe it was a three second in the key. I could not see it. Anyway. To the action we go. So far, it's been all Miami. Oh, Ralat Blau. Right between the optics of Jimmer for debt. Jimmer unfazed. He gets in for the lay. And then for debt gets whistled for the foul. That's only number four on Miami. They got two to give with 252 left in the game. They got their eyes set on 21. That's the magic number in this game of 3x3. With a madman. What's he going to do with the stolen goods? He delivers them. Barry, he can't knock it down from the corner. Voila, looking for his second straight two-piece. He's fouled by the madman. A lot can heat up on you quick. Got to respect his ability to shoot from two-point range. Maybe a little bit too much that time on Maddox. Is, again, it wasn't for the foul. But Lotto is the money man for San Juan. He finds the bucket like a night of long drinking. Was a look away free throw make. That was Steph Curry like. Three time, Luke Berry to the hoop. Allende. Yeah, nice pull up from 15 feet. Travis. Over to Berry. What a pass. What a pass. Beautiful setup. Barry to Fredette. Hoop and the harm. Fredette will shoot two free throws. So a chance for a three point play here. Miami closing in. Oh, Fredette with a rare miss at the free throw line. He's only shot about 15 free throws this year. 77%. Oh, my goodness. Jimmer for debt misses them both. Now for debt making a move, trying to make up for those free throws missed. That's one way to do it. While Lott forces one up, doubles down from the top of the key. San Juan within two. Fredette swings it. The real deal. Oh, that was spit out. Quasco, uh-oh. We got ourselves a one-point contest. Looked like Miami had this one in the bag, but it's the heart of the Puerto Ricans. A never-die attitude with San Juan, despite being in foul trouble, despite Jimmer Fredette really getting off in this game. They got a chance to potentially win it. They're not out. Got a ball-clearing challenge in the meantime. So we'll be able to find out whose possession this will be.
Challenge is, challenge is lost. So the bucket counts. It's 19-18. Miami cannot play around here. Minute 22 remaining in the contest. So while San Juan trailed by one, they got to continue to play tough defense, but smart defense. What they cannot afford is a foul, which will put Miami on the line to shoot two. Maddox will head it off and roll. So reset. Nuke Barry to the crib. Wallot will answer back. Critical possessions coming up for each team. Either team could win it. Jimmer to Maddox. Maddox fade away. Jimmer! He is Hammer! Fredette flips it up. In for the win. 21-19. What a play by Jimmer for debt. And what an effort from San Juan to get back into it. But Miami emerged out of two battles here day one. That was really anybody's game.